assalamu alaikum students i am gazanfar ali your chemistry teacher and today we are going to discuss about the cracking a topic from o levels organic chemistry portion so firstly we see what is cracking cracking is defined as cracking is defined as the phenomena the phenomena in which higher hydrocarbons which higher hydrocarbons that having high boiling points and they are less volatile are broken down into are broken down into lower hydrocarbons that have low boiling point and they are more volatile in the presence of heat in the presence of heat this phenomena is known as cracking the phenomena in which high hydrocarbons that having high boiling points less volatiles are broken down into the lower hydrocarbons that having low boiling point and they are more volatile in the presence of heat this phenomena is known as cracking cracking uh, is a breakdown phenomena so the other terminology used for cracking is known as bond fusion it is also known as bond fusion bond fusion is also the breakdown of bond and uh, uh, it is also known as pyrolysis pyrolysis breakdown in the presence of heat and other terminology used for cracking is known as thermal decomposition is also known as thermal decomposition these terminologies indicates that cracking is a phenomena in which hydrocarbons high hydrocarbons are break down into the lower hydrocarbons in the presence of heat at high temperature so cracking is also known as bond fusion pyrolysis or thermal decomposition so this is the concept of cracking now we discuss the types of cracking cracking is classified into three main types cracking is classified into three main types types of cracking cracking is classified into three main types one is known as thermal cracking other is known as catalytic cracking and third one is known as steam cracking we discuss all types of cracking one by one thermal cracking is defined as the type of cracking in which high hydrocarbons are broken down into the lower hydrocarbons at the temperature of about uh, 700 celsius at high temperature and high pressure so in thermal cracking thermal cracking high hydrocarbons are broken down into lower hydrocarbons at high temperature and at high pressure at high temperature and high pressure so the lower unsaturated hydrocarbons are formed by thermal cracking so in thermal cracking the conditions are high temperature and high pressure at high temperature and high pressure higher hydrocarbons are broken down into the lower hydrocarbons for example we have molecule of c6h34 this is known as hexadecane this is known as hexadecane at 700 celsius temperature when we heat the 
exert decaying at 700 Celsius temperature, we will get lower alkanes and alkenes. We will get lower alkanes and alkenes. It will be the formation of C7H16 that is known as N heptane and its octane number is 0. Its octane number is 0. It is a very, very bad fuel. And second product that is formed is known as ethene, and the third product that is formed is known as 1 propene that is the 1 propene. So, when we break the hexadecane at high temperature and high pressure, then three products are formed. One is the heptane that is an heptane uh, octane number is 0 that indicates that it is a very bad fuel and uh, uh, this is ethene and the third product that is formed is 1 propene. The second type is the catalytic cracking, second type is the catalytic cracking. It means that we use uh, catalysts in the catalytic cracking. The phenomena in which high hydrocarbons are broken down into the lower hydrocarbons at low temperature about uh, 500 Celsius and at low pressure about 280 M in the presence of a suitable catalyst. In, so, in uh, catalytic cracking we use uh, a suitable catalyst. For example, we use a mixture of uh, silica and alumina. Silica and alumina is a suitable catalyst that is used for the catalytic cracking and the temperature is about uh, uh, 500 Celsius and uh, uh, pressure is about 280 M. 280 M pressure, 500 Celsius temperature and a mixture of silica and alumina used for the breakdown of high hydrocarbons that having high boiling point into the lower hydrocarbons by catalytic cracking. So, catalytic cracking is useful for the improving the uh, octane number of, uh, for improving the octane number of gasoline. Gasoline is a high demanding lower hydrocarbon. So, improve the, to improve the octane number of gasoline, we use catalytic cracking. What is octane number? Octane number is defined as octane number. That is basically the percentage of branched chain hydrocarbons like isoctane in gasoline fraction of petroleum is known as octane number. The percentage of branched chain hydrocarbons branch chain hydrocarbons like uh, isooctane like isooctane like isooctane in gasoline that is the fraction of petroleum this is known as octane number. The percentage of branch chain hydrocarbons, the percentage of branch chain hydrocarbons in gasoline is known as octane number. Greater the octane number, better the fuel and less will be the knocking. So, for improving the octane number of gasoline, we use catalytic cracking and the suitable catalyst used in catalytic cracking is silica with alumina. Okay. Uh, so, our last type of uh, cracking is known as steam cracking. Last type of cracking is known as steam cracking. In steam cracking, in steam cracking, high hydrocarbons in the vapor phase, higher hydrocarbons in vapor phase are mixed with steam and heated at about 900 Celsius temperature for a short period of time, for a short period of time. Then the high hydrocarbons are broken down into the lower hydrocarbons by steam cracking. So, steam cracking is used for the uh, synthesis of unsaturated hydrocarbons. So, 
uh, which we will take the high hydrocarbon in the vapor phase then mix it with steam and heat it at about 900 celsius temperature for a short period of time then this type of cracking is known as steam cracking so these are the three main types of cracking. now we are going to discuss about the importance of cracking now we are going to discuss about the importance of cracking when we do the do the fractional distillation of uh, petroleum when we do the fractional uh, distillation of petroleum we will get gasoline we will get kerosene and we will get gas oil kerosene oil and gas oil now uh, the gasoline is a lower hydrocarbon the gasoline is a lower hydrocarbon and it is produced about 20 percent by therm, uh, by the thermal decomposition by the fractional distillation of petroleum when we do the fractional distillation of petroleum we will get gasoline about 20 percent that is a lower hydrocarbon but the demand of gasoline is very high however the kerosene oil and gas oil are produced and the demand of gasoline oil and kerosene oil are less so we say uh, the gasoline oil, uh, kerosene oil and the gas oil are the less desirable or less desirable petroleum fractions. These are less desirable petroleum fractions. These are less desirable petroleum fractions but they are higher hydrocarbons. They are higher hydrocarbons. So they are higher hydrocarbons, kerosene oil and gas oil are the higher hydrocarbons, gasoline is a lower hydrocarbon, when we do the fractional distillation of petroleum, gasoline is produced about 20%. So what is the importance of cracking? How we meet the demand of gasoline? So for to overcome the demand of gasoline, we use the phenomena of a cracking. The gas oil and uh, uh, kerosene oil are the hydrocarbons. So, by the phenomena of cracking, by the phenomena of cracking, they are converted into lower hydrocarbon gasoline. That is our desirable petroleum fraction, and its demand is high. That is our desirable petroleum fraction is our desirable petroleum fraction to meet the desire to, to get the desirable percentage of gasoline we convert the gas oil that are the high hydrocarbon and kerosene oil that is also high hydrocarbon into the low hydrocarbon gasoline by the phenomena of uh, cracking when we use the phenomena of cracking this, there are some byproducts are formed along with the, our major products and these uh, side products are ethene propene butene or uh, benzene and these reagents are used for the uh, in the manufacturing industries like the uh, drug industry like petrochemical industry like weed killers pesticides and the for the synthesis of certain important chemicals like ethanol uh, like phenol like uh, acetone so this is the importance of cracking 